You may have been wondering what this great device was here. Uh, this is the Xbox. And so, uh, for the first time, let me now unveil Xbox. Do you have the nostalgia for the original Xbox? Would you like to replay some of the games from that console and relive those gaming memories? And how awesome would it be to do that today? Without the risk behind buying used old hardware. Well, let's go on this journey together. And at the end... We'll be playing some original Xbox. This was Microsoft's first venture into the console space, way, way back in November 2001. The original Xbox has a convincing back catalogue of roughly 998 games, which is respectable, as it didn't have many third-party developers sporting it, not like the modern consoles do today. Anywho, let's move on. But I don't have a console, I hear you say. That's not an issue. We're going to emulate this brilliant piece of gaming pleasure on our PCs. For this video, the emulator is going to be XEMU, or Zemu. I don't really know what it's called, I've only ever heard it written down, but this can be downloaded from this website. Under the download section you'll find that this is available for not only Windows but also Mac and Linux. But I'll be using Windows on this video. I will need to point out that this emulator is not fully complete to just download and play. It simply is designed to mimic the hardware. Additional software or firmware, which is copyrighted by Microsoft, is needed as for legal reasons it can't be bundled together. And neither can I tell you where to get them. But a lazy Google will help with this locating of files. So we'll just download the zip files from here. Usually these files are bundled together and can be downloaded as a zip file so let's just grab them so now we have the emulator and the special files downloaded let's go and set this up from our downloads folder let's extract the emulator and then the special files to make this run you could do this in either order as we're just simply decompressing the files now that's done let's just tidy everything up we can remove or delete the zip files and I'll make a new folder called OG Xbox. Move all of the extracted files into this newly made folder. We can move this into another location on our PC so it's in an ideal location for us to use. And because we can, let's add a shortcut to the desktop. Now that's all neat and in place, we can launch the emulator. The first time you run the emulator, you'll need to quickly set up a few things. So to start, click the settings. I'm going to set this to 128 meg and the TV as default. We can always come back to this part and change it later. Within the file section, we need to set these. MCPX boot ROM, click this and navigate to the folder boot ROM image. Select mcpx underscore 1.0 bin and click open flash rom click this and again navigate to the folder select bios select complex underscore 4627 b 1.03 and click open the hard disk 
for the final time, navigate to our folder, select Xbox HDD image, and the Xbox underscore HDD dot QCROW2, and click open. We don't need to set an EEPROM, this will automatically set on first launch. Now close the emulator and launch it again for the settings that we've just made to take effect. After the restart, plug in a controller. The emulator supports a wide variety of different types of controller, but for this video I'm using the Xbox One version. You can check it's detected by clicking input section. And here we are, all ready to go. But what about the games you say? Well, you can go about this a couple of ways. You can rip the discs you own as a backup, or you could um, download them from an archive site where someone has done the hard work there for you. Wink, wink. So, once you have your games available, you can navigate to your emulation folder and put them into a games folder within here. So let's now load a game and have a trip down memory lane or experience this console for the first time. So here we go. When the emulator first starts up, you do have to load the disk. Go into games. Select the game that you want to play. And initially you will have to reset. And then you're ready to go. Select your player. Let's go. Select your track. Walk to Malayan City. Three, two, one. So there we have it. Through the power of emulation, we can relive those amazing nostalgic memories from way, way back when this console was at the top of its game. Now, I'm not going to pretend to lie that all of the games run flawless. Some of them have issues with their opening sequences and some of the full motion video between levels, but the games actually run perfectly fine. And it's brilliant that we have the chance to be able to do this without having to spend money on something we don't know how long it's going to last. So, with that said, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy playing this system and many of its great games. And on that blue screen of death, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.